Hi everyone, my name is Dick Vijay Parmar and welcome back to my YouTube channel Pick Up Pencil. So when we write code in Java, having it free from errors in the first time is far from reality. So in today's session, we are going to learn about basic uh, types of errors in Java and we are going to learn it via doing some live coding. So let's do it. From beginner's point of view, the errors in Java can be categorized into the three categories. First one is the syntax error, second one is the logical error, and third one is the runtime error. So we are going to discuss about all of them uh, with some example, and we are going to do it programmatically. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into uh, you know our first kind of error, which is syntax error. So syntax error, I've came up with this slide here to go over, to go, to have a gist of them and then we go, we jump into the program, okay? So syntax error is nothing but it comes up when compilation is failed. That means you will know it upfront that something wrong with the program, something wrong with the way we have written the code. So it may be some grammatical mistake, it can be, right? some variable we are trying to use which doesn't even exist. So those kind of error, which you know upfront while coding before the execution. And in order to pass the compilation, we have to fix those errors so that code can be executed later. So let's look at the um, syntax error uh, in, uh, you know, uh, in a program. So I have this uh, Java editor op uh, open over here, and I have created one sample class here, types of errors demo. So we are not going to talk about today how I have created the class because we have already covered this in our previous uh, uh, sections. So right, we are going to jump directly into the, the error demo. So it's just a simple class, types of demo. It has a main method, just that. So now here we are going to discuss about the syntax error. So let's take a use case here. Let's suppose we want to um, calculate an area of a rectangle, right? So how can be the scenarios where we can have a syntax error, a logical error, and runtime error in this kind of program, right? So in order to calculate an area of a rectangle, we're gonna need length and width. So let's just, let's go ahead and start start declaring our variable. So I'm gonna take int length equals to 20 maybe, okay? So what let's try to do here, let's try to print the length, which I've just declared right now, right? So how I print something in Java, it's through system. System dot out dot println and I can say length is whatever it is. Length is length. Okay. So if I just run this and I should be seeing length is twenty printed over here. So it's just building it. Yeah, we see length is 20. So there is no syntax error here right now. So what if I messed up with this? Let's suppose I misspell the system, okay? So if we see here, this is a common kind of grammatical mistake or a spelling mistake. So Java is not able to understand this symbol here. So you see the program, this state has become red here. And if we just go here, cannot resolve the symbol SYSTM. So this is nothing but a compilation error. And the, our compilation is the error which we know right now while we are coding. So that is why we know these kind of errors upfront. Program doesn't even compile. And at the time of compilation, it is giving me in this error here. So what I have to do, I have to just fix it and it just goes away. 
right? This all read error or compile compilation error goes away. Other example can be of um, let's suppose I say width, okay, and I say let's I try to print the width of the rectangle. So here again, the compilation error comes again. I am tr so basically what's happening here. I am trying to print the width. I'm trying to print a variable which is nothing, which is not even declared first. So these kinds of kinds of errors are nothing but a compilation error. When compiler can know upfront there is something wrong with the code. So in order to fix this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare this variable here. Right, so we just know about compilation error that they can be when we misspell something that Java doesn't understand or uh, things like you know trying to declare, trying to access the objects that or the variables. Those are not even declared before. So those kinds of kinds of error comes into the com syntax error. So let's go ahead and talk about the logical error. So Logical errors are nothing but there could be, you know, these are the symptoms or you can see that, you know, whether there is a logical error or not. Compilation is passed. So there is no issue with the compilation. There is no spelling mistake. There is no syntax that has been used that Java cannot understand. Runtime is passed. Even the runtime, when the code is executed, the compile, while the execution, Java did not complain anything. But what happens here in case of logical error, no expected output. So the output was never expected. Uh, the output we are getting from the program that is not expected. So something wrong there with the logic that we have written. So let's go ahead and, you know, um, uh, try to see how can we have a logical here uh, in this uh, particular uh, case where we are trying to calculate an area of a rectangle, okay? So what I'm going to do here is, since we are trying to calculate an area of a rectangle, I'm going to take a float variable area, okay? And I'm just, I'm just declaring it. And then I am going to calculate the area, so area is, length into width. Fair enough. And now what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and print this area here. So area is, so what I just done is in this section here, we have declared length and width and here we are trying to calculate the area. So there is nothing seems wrong about this program here. Area, length and width. And if I just run this one, so it should get us the calculated value of the area. And we see here area is 600 because 20 into 30 equals 600, perfectly fine. There is this program is working so far as per our expectation. So where we can come, where the logical error can come up. Let's see an example. What happens, what if, while doing the coding, developer made a mistake. And instead of putting that multiplication sign there, developer just put plus, right? So plus Java compiler can understand it. And while execution is nothing wrong with, you know, uh, addition of two variable. So if developer made a mistake, there was something wrong with the logic. And if I run this one, no compilation error, no runtime error, Java doesn't have any problem with this, but the logic of the program, I just run it, logic of the program is not correct. So here it is saying area is 50, but area is not 50. Area sub should supposed to be 600. Then developer has to go here and see, oh, I have made this logical error. Let's go and fix it. So one, so this is how logical error can happen in a program where the program does not output the way we want. Okay, fair enough. 
So let's move on our third type of error, which is runtime error. So basically, a runtime error is something where compilation is passed. There is nothing wrong with the program in terms of coding or declaring a variable and no spelling mistake. But one program is being executed at the runtime. There was some problem. Something has happened which is not allowed, okay, and which is not really allowed in Java. So let's suppose, let's take an example here in the runtime error. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take the same here. Um, let me just comment this for a minute and let's focus on runtime error. So let's take the example of same area here. So area is length into width, but what happens if a developer or if somebody made a mistake and start dividing, right? Or uh, maybe area equals to like area, we have calculated the area, but there is another operation where we are trying to divide the area with zero. But we know anything in the math, we cannot, we should not be dividing it by zero. It will just fail. It doesn't get us any output, right? So here, program does, while compilation time, it does not, it's, it's not complaining anything. But when we execute it, right? So let's go ahead and execute this program. So it should fail now because when Java actually processing area, oh, so it's saying area is infinity here, but infinity is not something, you know, that is, uh, uh, that is acceptable, right? Area cannot be infinity. So, so it can, it can go and it can even, right, fail like this while the calculating, while the calculation. So let's go ahead and run this program again. Yeah. So while doing the mathematical uh, operation, right, when you are doing a multiplication at the same time, you are trying to uh, divide the, the output with the zero. So that is why the arithmetic exception comes up here. So Java lang arithmetic exception, it's coming here and it's saying divided by zero is not allowed. So basically what happens here, while the compilation time, there was no problem, but while doing the calculation and then dividing it with the zero, right? In this operation, uh, the arithmetic exception came up. So basically error is also called like the exception and something which is not allowed that we did and something Java is not allowing. And even though, uh, you know, developer is uh, doing that. So that is why while the compilation, uh, it is not, you know, complaining, but when actually the calculation is happening, when the execution is happening during that time, it's uh, complaining. And so this is an example of uh, runtime error, which comes at the runtime or during the execution of the program. So there can be one more quick example we can take. Let's suppose you have, um, you know, array. Let me declare an array, okay? Array uh, test array, okay? And it has one, two, three, okay? It should be cat. So what I did is, so it should be an integer array, I'm sorry. So what I did is integer array, I've just declared an integer array here. And this, if you do not know how to declare an array right now, so don't worry about it. We are going to cover it in the future, but this is how we declare an array. So this is the, uh, the, the type of an array is integer and it has three element, one, two, three. So let's suppose we are trying to print. Okay. So array elements. So what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to construct a runtime error here. So I'm trying to print the fourth element, fourth element of array, right? So see, what I just did here, basically I'm trying to, let me comment everything else. 
I have declared an array. Array is an integer array and it has three elements. And what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to print the fourth element of the array. So while compilation time, there is no problem. But while the execution, because since there is no fourth element, it should throw a runtime exception while execution. So let me just go ahead and run this, run this program. So it's building it up here and see, we have got this runtime error, which is array index out of bound exception, right? Index four out of bound for length three. So it's saying array length is three, but we are trying to accept the fourth one. So if we just go, go and try to access the second one, it should not be, um, it should not be complaining. And this runtime error should go away. So that is what, let's look at the output here and it says, you know, array element, the third, the second element is nothing but the third one. So it is the zero, one, two, and that's why we got a three here. So that was all about having these uh, types of errors here. So let's have a quick recap, syntax error, only compilation fail. Logical error, compilation is passed, runtime is passed, but we did not get the way we expect our output. There's something wrong with the logic. And third one is there is nothing wrong while compiling. There is nothing, no syntax error, nothing. But runtime, we did something that Java does not allow us to do, okay? So that was all about type of error. Let's quickly touch upon, I created another slide here. Let's quickly touch upon comment statement. So when, so basically what are comment statements? So comment statements are nothing but, they do not, they are not the basically a line of code that calculates some logic, but they, we put some comments in our program, we put some comments in a program, which are nothing but for the information purpose or more readable to the user so that it enhances the readability of our program so that the user can be well informed what actually going in the program. And another thing, thing to remember is any comment we put in the program, those are skipped by the compiler. Since those are not the real line of the code, so compiler will simply skip them. So there are three types of comments, single line comments, multi-line comments, and documentation comments. So let's look at all of these kinds of uh, comments in the program. So you might have already noticed here, right? So this block was for the syntax error. So that is why I just went ahead and created this single line comment here. So this is nothing but an example of single line comment. So I've commented this line so that it is just an indication for the user. So what's going on here? So this is a single line comment. So the moment I just take this out, it's compiler will think that this is the actual line of code and it has started throwing the error. So I just go ahead and comment this one. So this is a single line of um, um, comment here. So now multi-line. So let's suppose I have to comment more lines at one go. So one way is I keep doing single line, single line, single line, but it will be a lot of, you know, a uh, uh, lot of work to do. So instead of putting all three single line, I can just go ahead and do the multi-line comments here. So multi-line comments are nothing but when you want to comment a section of a code like this, it starts like this. So it's gonna start a slash star and then star followed by a slash. So if you see here, this whole block of comments has been uh, commented and it is not it's kept by compiler, so it's kind of informational here. So, so why do we need it? So even though, right, we can do it like this. This is the logical error, and what we are trying to do here, uh, area calculation. So let's make it more intuitive. So, so what we know is here, these next two lines, what is going on here? This is like an example of logical error. And what we are doing here, we are doing area cal uh, calculation. So basically, this multi-line comments is making 
this piece of code more readable more informational to the user so that if uh, a, some other a new developer is coming here and he is looking at the code they should be easily understand what do you mean by the following code so that is why putting comment is in a good practice to have right and the third one is nothing but a documentation comment so basically all these single and multi line these are a part of code but documentational comment is something not related to the code but a kind of documentation from overall perspective let's suppose i want to put a documentation comment here uh, maybe on the top okay so this is how it goes it basically have two lines of star okay like this two stars followed star star and here i can see the author basically who is the author of this program i can just put my name right now right and even more comment i can put like date right uh 26th august like something like that or uh, any declaration i want to make it here so basically these documentational comment followed with a slash star star and then they uh, end that way so documentational comments are not related to the program but overall gives a overall docu uh, kind of a section that is a kind of a documentation uh, for the whole class or for whole software so that is what i wanted to cover in today's session so we have covered the types of errors syntax error logical error and runtime error and along with looking at the errors we have learned how many types of comment statements are there in java and what is the use of them so that's it for today and like always if you enjoyed watching today's session please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel pick up pencil so that's all for today see you next time take care